Hello lovely people! Today we're going to be bringing Christmas in November. We are going to glitter ourselves up. In today's video there is a lot of glitter involved. I don't know if you can tell. From 1 to 10, how Christmassy? Is there a word Christmassy? Oh, if I say it, then there is. How Christmassy is this look? So let me tell you a little bit about this look. I'm following Katy Perry's makeup artist on Instagram and he posted this photo of her and I was like, wow, I want this look on my face too. I want all of those sparkles on my face. So I did. That's how I ended here. <laughs> so I didn't want to copy the look exactly. I didn't want to do exactly what he did. I just like the idea of green glitter on the eyes and red glitter on the lips so you know i was not following exactly what he did i just you know got the idea for the look and did it how i would usually do it if the idea was mine <laughs> so i hope you guys like how this look came out i think that it's needless to say that i absolutely love it don't forget to leave your rate on how christmasy this look is down in the comments i'm gonna be scrolling in the comment section i want to know what you think for me it's like 20 out of 10. I mean, it can't get any more Christmassy. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so I'm so ready to get my face decorated like a Christmas tree. I just feel so excited for today's video. You guys know that I usually don't like using like 50 different eyeshadow palettes for a single eye makeup look, but today I couldn't find all of the eyeshadows that I want to use in a single eyeshadow palette, so you know, I, I will need to mix them up. But anyways, I'm gonna take the Natasha Den Denona Tropic palette. So I'm gonna start off with the shadow code Sahara, this one right here. I'm gonna load my brush with it. I'm using the Sigma E25 and this is going right into my crease. I'm starting off with the crease color because I wanna kind of create a guideline for myself so that I know that I shouldn't bring the green colors higher than that. So I'm starting off by placing this color in my crease. Okay, mm that's beautiful. Now I'm gonna mix the shade Fake Tan with Cocoa. And this is going in my lower crease area. Okay, now I'm gonna take a clean fluffy brush and I'm gonna diffuse it really quickly. Okay, time for the green. Now, I just want to make a confession here. Green is my least favorite color. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just, it, it doesn't make me excited. However, if it's in the form of an eyeshadow, I absolutely love it. I just think that it complements my brown eyes. Don't ask me why I got this green shirt. I ordered it online and I, I got it green by mistake, okay? It was a mistake. Okay, so I'm gonna take the shadow coat Exotic. Wow. And this is going all over my eyelid. Okay, taking that same Sigma E25 that I used at the beginning and I will diffuse that green shade into the brown crease color. Okay, now to darken up the outer corner, I'm gonna take this black eyeshadow here. And this is the, the Balm Meat Matte Trimony eyeshadow palette. So I'm adding that in the outer V of my eye. And I'm building up the intensity by adding a few layers. So that it's nice and dark. Switching to my trusty Morphe M506, I'm gonna take a little bit of this shade here, just a tiny little bit, and I'll use that to diffuse the black eyeshadow further into my crease. I'll actually mix these three shades here. Oops, you don't see. <laughs> I'm mixing these three shades. And I'm not overly loading my brush with them. I just wanna have some eyeshadow on my brush so that it will be way easier to blend out the black shade because blending black eyeshadow that can be difficult so take your time going back to that big fluffy brush making sure that the black shade in the crease is as blended as possible and after you've blended you may need to apply one more layer of that black eyeshadow just to 
bring back some of the intensity and the darkness so if you feel like you need to do that go ahead and do it taking the three bottom shades from that eyeshadow palette again on that morphe m506 and blending out just repeating what i did The step with the black eyeshadow is probably the most difficult part from this look so make sure that you take your time, be patient when blending it and see how that black eyeshadow transformed this look from a daytime look to a nighttime look. It made a huge difference, you can't deny. Oh, my little precious glitter, come here. So I have a few glitters in my collection and I was surprised how many different shades of gold glitter I have. And very few actually colorful glitters that's so boring and sad but i found this bh cosmetics glitter which is green it's called um shamrock and this is actually the only green glitter that i have i need to do something about that so let's get this on my eyes first before applying it hold on i need to do a few things before applying this on my eyes shadow shields i have my foundation on and it won't be fun to get green glitter all over my face this is a must trust me especially when you have your foundation on and you wanna pop some glitter on your eyes just shadow shields are your best friend in that case yep <laughs> now i'm gonna take some glitter glue this is the bh cosmetics base booster this is going on top of that green eyeshadow and after that it's time for the glitter You guys okay my eyeballs look like one of those decorating bows covered in glitter for the christmas tree it's the same thing i like that now i'm taking some of that black eyeshadow from that the balm palette and i'm applying it very closely to my lashes kind of like an eyeliner but not really if you want you can also add a winged eyeliner but if you do make sure that you do that wing before adding the glitter because you won't be able to do a nice crisp line on top of glitter it, it's going to be a nightmare so with this black eyeshadow i don't want to do sharp line i just want to add some definition i'm also keeping my shadow shields on because some of that black eyeshadow can fall down my face some of the glitter can go on my face and i want to prevent that from happening i don't know if you guys can tell how much of excess glitter and black eyeshadow the shadow shields grabbed now go ahead and finish up my face makeup i'm adding some concealer under my eyes i'm using the jouet 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 essential high coverage liquid concealer in the shade custard i actually really quickly finish up my eye makeup so i'm going back to that natasha denona tropic palette and i'm mixing these two colors and I'm gonna smudge that along my lower lashes. When I was applying eyeshadow along my lower lashes, I used to do this, which, I mean, this is not a pose that you wanna take when applying eyeshadows along your lower lashes. You barely can see what you're doing. So instead, take your mirror, rise it up, and look straight. And then apply your eyeshadows in this area. It's going to be You'll be able to see so much more. You'll be able to see what you're doing, actually. <laughs> because when you do this, you see nothing. To darken up the things even more, I'm mixing these two colors from that the Balm palette. And again, smudging that under the lower lashes. I'm going intense under the eyes today. I don't know if you can tell. <laughs> I just added a pair of Fossies. These are the House of Lashes in the style Allura Light. This is another pair that I have from them. I absolutely love them. Now I will tie line my eyes with some black pencil. I want to try out this Hourglass Ambient Palette. So I'm going to take these two colors and I'll use them to add some definition on my face. Like contouring slash bronzing shade. The powders feel very soft very fine they feel like melting into the skin i'm gonna mix these two blush colors here 
The eye makeup is so beautiful, you guys. I can't stop looking at it at the viewfinder. Before I move on to the highlighter, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with some setting spray. This one is by Ofra. It's their makeup fixer. This smells good. I like it. It's, it smells like a male fragrance. It's gonna make your boyfriend ask questions. <laughs> For highlighter, I'm gonna take the one from that Hourglass palette. Oh, it gives you more subtle glow. Okay, time for the glitter lips. First, I'm gonna line my lips. This is a lip pencil by Nabla. All right, and for lipstick, this is again Nabla, and I'm using their liquid lipstick called Rouge Assassin. I love how the Nabla lipsticks feel on the lips. Oh, wait, hold on. I forgot to add some highlighter in the inner corners of my eyes. This is the over highlighter in all of the lights. And I'm gonna... I'm gonna take this shade and this one. I was waiting for this moment since... Well, yesterday. <laughs> So for the glitter on the lips, I'm grabbing this Smolder Cosmetics Radiant Glitter in the shade Brick and I'm gonna add that on my lips right after I applied that glitter glow. I feel like my mouth is full of glitter. And this completes this look, you guys. I know that it's super bold. Obviously, Katy Perry wore it for some kind of a campaign or something. And I'm aware that you need to be really bold to wear this look outside or to some kind of an event. It's really sparkly. It's really... It's intense and I understand that. It brings all of the attention on your face. And I'm sure that there are people out there that can handle all of that attention, like... Katy Perry. I was really excited for the glitter lips. This is not something that I usually do. <laughs> I'm not wearing glitter lips that often, to be honest with you. And you probably already know that. But oh, you know, I think it's a really fun, festive look. I mean, this look screams Christmas. <laughs> I was really inspired when I saw that photo, so I thought that hey, why not? I thought that you guys would enjoy watching me create that look on my face. So I hope you guys like how the look came out. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. If you're wondering what's that bell button right next to a subscribe button, well, if you click it, you'll be notified whenever I post a new video. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All of the links, as always, are down in the description box. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in my next one. Bye!